Bride of Reanimator, um, as obviously you played Gloria, um, and as you kind of touched on briefly, the prosthetics. Um, please t tell us what that process must have been like for you. Well, it was long, and I would arrive on set probably around 1 a.m. and sit in the chair, and they would just start gluing all the different pieces onto me. It, it was a bodysuit uh, that went up one leg, up my torso, and then down one arm, and then the other arm and leg were marbleized and had prosthetic pieces glued onto them. So I kind mm -hmm. of stepped into this kind of naked suit of myself that we had um, done as as a cast at their at the KNB uh, effects group warehouse in Chatsworth before the show started. So they had all these different body casts of me, of my head relaxed and quiet. And then when my head's screaming because my head pops off of my body. I mean, I just completely disassemble. I'm, I'm a character that's made up of 10 different body parts. The, the legs of a hooker, the torso of a virgin, the arms of a waitress, one hand of a lawyer, one hand of a murderer the feet of a ballerina. I mean, it was, it was a lot to take. Uh, and I think, what was my head? Oh, and my head was the, the uh, doctor's dead girlfriend or the, the, or the, the girl that who dies in the beginning, I guess her name was Gloria, right? Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> so yeah, I've got all these different body parts and the heart of, doctor's dead girlfriend in my heart yes so they started with that the heart then they got the head and then they just started you know bringing in body parts so brian used and the director really wanted everything to be this kind of spastic puppet like you know not really you know they might have reattached it but they didn't get all the ligaments and nerves right <laughs> <laughs> it still takes a lot of motoring to make it work so yeah. that part was great, just the physicality. Uh, I really loved that concept and then bringing in the emotion on top of it and just being like confused and not like what, what kind of nightmare did I just wake up in? And what whose body is this? Is I'm not recognizing it as my own and it's not even really responding the way that a normal body responds, but yet my heart is in love with this doctor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a masterful character. I mean, if yes. it, it really truly is because of all the prep work that, that they did. And I, I write a full chapter on it in my book. Mm -hmm. um, because of all the prep work, being in a chair for eight hours that to me was my you know they say as soon as the actor has his costume on the character comes alive mm -hmm. my character was literally being sewn together like <laughs> like what the character was over an eight hour yeah. surgery process every day before I stepped on the set and because the, the suit was so intense I couldn't really sit down in a set chair so they built this fantastic lean to for me in comes the bicycle seat again my favorite tool <laughs> <laughs> so they put a bike seat on this lean to and they had it covered in chamois like all this sheepskin and and you know so I could lean up against something and just kind of take some pressure off without completely laying down on my back because my it was all my own hair that was just that was the big the big struggle with Brian. I, I begged for a wig, but he was just like, nope, we're going to use your own. Hair. So I would get home after, you know, monumental work day and, and then have to try and get all those tangles out of my hair on oh, top of it. I was just like, <laughs> I'm an actor. That <laughs> <laughs> was rough. Thanks. But it was the standard by which I measure everything because yeah. I committed, I didn't quit. I didn't complain. I showed up, I suited up, and I did my best. And and I still had friends at the end of it. Brian, Bruce, Jeffrey, 
they were all so kind to me and the K&B effects group, you know, Bob, Howard and Greg, you know, like they really looked after me. They were my team. They didn't work on anybody else but me. It was just me that they were focused on. So that felt good. It wasn't like I'm standing there going, oh, guys, you know, where is anybody? They, I always had like a swarm of people around me at all times, lifting me up emotionally, making me feel safe, making me feel, um, you know, appreciated. Because there was something that like the first day of that, when I came out on set and everyone was just marveling at like its creation. And then, you know, then comes lunch and I'm covered in goop, you know, <laughs> with exposed nerves. And, you know, you don't really, you know, you show up with your plate of spaghetti and you're like, hey guys, can I sit at your table? And everyone's like, <laughs> ooh, gross. It did a number on me, I have to say. I was like, all of a sudden I felt like, wow. Isn't this interesting? I'm I'm not with the cool kids right now. I'm kind of sitting off to the side, just eating a small amount because I wasn't, you know, I was like eating small amounts throughout the day to just keep my body going. But mm -hmm. you know, it was a it it was a challenge, but I met it and I would absolutely do it again if they asked. <laughs> I mean you know, I think for you to go through that process day after day just not only shows your love and dedication for the for the art and the craft, um, but as you said, that, that that situation, just eight hours in prosthetics alone would break so many people. So, mm -hmm. I, again, I think you, you don't get the applaudits that you personally, I think you should be getting for that because, you know, in eight hours just sitting there alone, I mean, for most people, that's a whole day's worth of work. And then you've got to work after that. So I think you deserve so much appreciation and credit for, for what you brought to the character. And again, uh, Bride of Reanimator is one of my favorite horror horror movies of all time. So thank you again oh, wow. for what you did on that work. <laughs> well, I'm glad I did it just for you, Sam. Thank you. <laughs> glad you uh, see this much enjoyment out of it. A lot of people do. And and yeah. like you said, Halloween four was your favorite. They a lot I hear that from a lot of people as well. Both films. Yeah. I'm really proud of them both. And I'm I'm proud to be a part of this genre with those mm -hmm. two films under my belt. And uh, you know, I'm it, it's always nice to hear that that people appreciate the hard work that you put in and you know, it, it, it means something. So thank you.